Welcome to iLecture Online. Here was a very interesting question from one of our viewers. And I had never really worked this out, so I thought, hey, let's give it a try. The question was, why does factoring by grouping work? And if you're not sure what we mean by factoring by grouping, let's, let me show you an example using numbers and how the technique is used, and then we'll show you in a general format why it actually works. So here's the way it works. First, let's come up with the trinomial by multiplying those two binomials together. So when I multiply this together, I get 15x squared, 3x times 2, that gives me plus 6x, 4 times 5x gives me plus 20x, and 4 times 2 gives me plus 8. When I combine the two middle terms, I get 15x squared plus 26x plus 8. And so this is the polynomial that we get when we multiply those two binomials together. Now, when they ask us to factor this... Equal signs. Yes, equal signs. There we go. Now, when we're asked to factor this, there's a number of ways in which we can do that. One of the ways is what we call by grouping. In other words, we're going to take the, two, the middle term and rewrite it as the sum of two middle terms. So this can be written as 15x squared plus 8. And now we have to come up with two middle terms. And how do we find those two middle terms? Well, the product of the coefficients of the two middle terms should equal the product of the two terms over here. In other words, the product should equal 15 times 8, which is 120. And the sum, of course, must equal to what we have on here, 26. So the question is, can we come up with two numbers that when we multiply them together, we get 120, and when we add them together, we get 26? And when you look at it, go, well, 6 times 20, that's 120. When you add them, you get 26. So the answer is 6 plus 20 is 26, and 6 times 20 is 120. So we found the two numbers. That means that here we can write plus 20x and plus 6x. And you can see that we end up back with what we started with over there. But that's how we get to this. Now, when we want to factor, we're going to group the first two and the last two terms together like this. Now we're going to factor out what's common here. We can factor out a 5 and an x. So this is 5x times, we have left a 3x plus 4. And then here we can factor out, looks like a 2. And we end up with 3x plus 4. Now when you look at these two terms right here, notice that we can factor out a 3x plus 4 and a 3x plus 4 from here. So this becomes 3x plus 4 times what's left, which is 5x plus 2. 5x plus 2, which gets us right back to the problem that we started with. So it appears to work. The question is, why does it work? Well, we can see numerically why it works, but can we show it in a general sense. Let's do the very same thing we did over here on this side right here. We're going to multiply this through, so we have a, ax times cx, so we end up with acx squared. There we go. <laughs> you like equal signs. All right, you're actually correct, though. I should put equal signs on there. So keep correcting me. So this is equal to a times cx squared, ax times this, it gives us plus a times dx, plus this times this gives me b times cx, and this times this gives me plus b times d. Now we can combine these two terms, and so this can be written as acx squared plus ad plus bc times x plus bd. And now we have a trinomial. We have the x squared term, the x term and the constant. Now the question is, how can we factor this to get back to this? And so what we're going to do is we're going to write this and take the middle term and split up into two middle terms. We're going to say that this is equal to acx squared, two middle terms right here, plus bd. And how do we decide what the coefficients are of the two middle terms, because we're going to end up with an x and an x, but we need the two numerical coefficients. Now, we can get that by using the same technique. We can say that the product, 
the product must equal the product of these two terms. So AC, or the coefficients, AC times BD. So we have A, whoop, that should be ACBD, and let me rewrite that, it should be an A, AC times BD. And the sum is going to be equal to the sum right here. AD plus BC. Now, what are the two coefficients that must go here such that the sum is equal to this and the product is equal to the product of those two? Well, AD plus BC, when I multiply them together, I get AC times BD. So these are the two. So I can write this as AD plus BC and put a plus sign right there. So the sum of these two adds up to the middle term. The product of those two adds the equal to the product of those two. So that means that this is how we get back to the factored form. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to pair them up two by two. So two terms and two terms paired together. I'm going to factor out what's common. So this is equal to A times X is common. I end up with CX plus D. And here, what's common over here? B is common, so I can factor out a B, and I'm left with CX plus D. And then I look at these two terms right here, and notice that CX plus D is common. I can factor those out. So this is equal to CX plus D multiplied times what I have left, which is AX plus B. And that's exactly what I have over there in reverse form, but it doesn't matter. It's the very same thing. And so therefore, again, you can see that this technique where we split the middle term up into two terms and the product of the two numbers I'm looking for is equal to the product of the outside two numbers and the sum is equal to this number right here. I did the same thing over here. The product of these two numbers, when I split them up, is equal to the product of those two and the sum of these two must equal to those two. And it works exactly the same way, so now you know why does that technique work? Because it works for any polynomial like that. And that is how it's done. You should show how to do the flow method on that one. <laughs> the flow method on that one? You like that? You like the flow method? I love the flow method. Okay, well, um, that's not what this was about, but <laughs> you still want me to do the flow method. Okay. All right. So what do we need? So for here, we need something here and something there to give us the 15, right? So, well, it would be five and three or three and five. It could be one and 15 and 15 and one, but that's unlikely. Because 15 times anything it'd be hard to get the other two numbers. So, so it's not likely, but that's correct. Then, of course, on the other side, you get the product that gives you this. So again, it would be 8 and 1, or 1 and 8. It could be 2 and 4, and 4 and 2. So those are the combinations. Again, 8 and 1 are not likely candidates. These are unlikely candidates, and these, this is unlikely as well. It's probably going to be the combination of the smaller numbers to get the middle term. So we take three times four is 12 plus five times two is 10, that's equal to 22, which is not 26, so that's not a good combination. How about five times two and three times four? All right, so five times two, that gives me 10. And three times four gives me 12, which is equal to 22. That also doesn't give me the middle term. How about 5 times 4? Gives me 20. 5 times 4. And 3 times 2 gives me 6. That's how it is. So, in other words, 5 multiplied times 4 and 3 multiplied times 2 gives me the correct metal term. Now I go ahead and write my factored form. So, we get 5x plus 2. Multiply times 3x plus 4. And that should be the same as what I have over here. Yep, and that's how it's done. It's pretty much like what you're doing, because you want the, the sum to be equal to 26 and the product to be equal. 
it's you know why this works nicely is because you put all the possible combinations to get the first term and all the possible combinations to get the last term and now you're finding some combination to give you the middle term and you just go one at a time and see which combination gives it to you so it's it's a very straightforward method don't like it <laughs> it's your favorite method by the way just to let you know when she was teaching our kids how to do algebra she taught them all this method right here. And they all loved it. And she claims they all loved it. 